Okay then, before I start today's Retro Bat and latest Cody setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, Just Jamie. That just means you'll get notified for every setup guide that I release, which is virtually every day, and it also helps my channel out. So can you believe it? The last time I did Retro Bat and Cody was over a year ago, so a long time ago, and of course since we've had a new release of Cody, and we're going to make this one a little bit more comprehensive than the uploads from last year. So first of all, we're obviously going to need Retrobat and we're going to be using Retrobat 6.1. Now this is the latest Retrobat distribution and if you missed out on that, I actually uploaded around an hour's worth of footage the other day how to get you up and running with the latest Retrobat. So what we're going to do first then is head over to the Kodi website and this is where you can download Kodi itself. If if we just go to download and we just scroll down from here we're going to download this for windows now we got two versions to this we got a 64-bit version as well as a 32-bit version like i always say in terms of bits the easiest way to establish which version you need is open up your search bar system information and under system type you'll find right just here which version PC you're running. I've got a 64 bit, so it says times 64. If you've got 32 bit, it will say times 86. So I'm gonna download the store 64 bit. And of course this is for Kodi version 21 Amiga or Omega. Let's just download that one. And in my case, unverified download block is absolutely safe. Goatee has been around for a very long time and it's a very well trusted piece of software. So I'm going to just download unverified file. Next thing we're going to want to download is a media player such as VLC. I recommend VLC. It's probably the most versatile media player around. It's been around for years and years. And the codex on it to support different file extensions, film extensions is phenomenal. So if you don't have VLC player, download it and then we can use that to watch our films through Kodi. So anyways, what we're going to do is actually set up Kodi. I've just downloaded it just here as we can see, Kodi 21. And here we go then. So welcome to Kodi setup. We're going to just go to next. And we're going to read the license agreement if you've got an hour to spend of your life. I agree. And make sure we also check Microsoft Visual C++. If this is unchecked, then make sure it's checked just so we can get it running smoothly. Select the type of install. We want to put four on this one. We're going to go to next. Now, by default, this is going to go into our C drive program files folder, and it's going to create a new folder called Kodi. If you want this to go in your Retrobat directory, then what we can actually do is go to the Retrobat directory, open file location, and within this directory, we can create a new folder and just call it Kodi. So everything is nice and neat and together. What we can do from here is just go up to the search bar, right click, copy, and then paste that directory into the destination folder like I've just done. And that's where I'm gonna put mine. I'm gonna to go to next, and we're gonna to go to install. Now while this is installed, if we go back to that Retrobat directory, and we go down to Kodi, as you can see, everything's now been installed into this directory. Okay, so we got the option to run Kodi. I'm going to leave this unchecked because the purpose of this setup guide is getting it running through Retrobat. Now, on my desktop, I've got two films, and this is just two clips from a couple of my videos I've uploaded recently. What I'm going to do is create a new folder and just call this folder films what i'm going to do is drag both of these dot mp4 films into that films folder i've just created and as we know i'm going to put everything inside of retrobat so if i go down to my kodi folder i've created i'll just add my films folder in here okay so let's open up retrobat and link this up with kodi Okay then, so once we're inside of Retrobat, we're going to enter the main menu. I'm pressing start button on my controller and I'm just going to scroll down to system settings and press A. From here, I'm just going to scroll down to Kodi settings. If I press A to enter this, now I've got enable Kodi. This is obviously enabled already. So if this is disabled, just toggle it to enabled. 
and we can even launch Cody at boot. So if you want to do that, toggle it to enabled. I'm going to keep this disabled for now. I'm going to go back and if I press B button to come back to the main menu, Cody. And here we go. We're now in Cody inside of Retrobat. So what can we do from here? So I've obviously put my films into a film folder. So let's actually link these up to Cody itself. If I go into movies by pressing A, I'm going to go to add videos. And from here, I'm just going to use my cursor. If I go to browse, I'm then from here going to find that films folder. So I'm going to go to C drive and then we'll have a folder here called Retrobat. If I go inside of here, we then got the Cody folder and here's my if I just left click on this one and then go to OK. Now I can give this a name. So when we're in Cody, we actually got a name for this. So you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it Movis. And from here, what I'm going to do is just go to OK. I'm then going to go up to OK. Then once we're at the main menu of Cody, if we go to Movis, I can then find my Movis. Okay, so we can also add other things using Cody through Retrobat, such as adding Plex. So Plex is an absolutely free film channel. So to do this, what we're going to do is just scroll down to add-ons. And if I go to enter add-on browser, press enter on this, I can then scroll different apps. And if I just scroll down to Plex and press enter, I'm going to just press enter on this to install. And as we can see, it's now saying installing. I can also add another film channel such as Pluto TV if I just drop down one and press enter. And again, just install this. And we're going to go to OK. And so there's lots of different apps here for films we can download. So if I just press escape to come out of here. And to access these apps I've just downloaded using Kodi, if I just go back to the main menu from here, I'm just going to scroll down until I get to videos. And just here, I'm going to find under categories video add-ons. If I press enter on this, and here they are, we got Plex and we got Pluto TV. And if I start up Pluto TV just by pressing enter on this one, and we've got different categories just here. If we go down to categories, here we go, we got lots of things going on. So let's just go down to say documentaries, press enter. And Pluto TV Science, if I press enter on this one. And here we go, let's take a look at Naked Science, Anatomy of a Hurricane. And that's coming up later. And under live, we've got various different things here. So we got Pluto TV's uh, let go, whatever this is, press enter. And I'm going to press yes on this one in order to download an add-on in order to play live stream films. So press yes and enter. And whilst I'm in here, I can also select different things. I've got a uh, avatar here, last airbender. Okay, other things we can do through Kodi is actually install emulators through this. So to be honest with you, if you're using Retrobat, then you might not necessarily need this. But if you do want to try it out, just go to add-ons. And from here, we can go to game add-ons, enter add-on browser, press enter. And then we can choose an emulator. So we've got everything from the Commodore Amiga, a little bit of DOSBox, uh, even Scum VM is there. And there's lots there to choose from. So, for example, if I was just to install a Commodore 64 emulator, I'll go for this one just here. Press enter. And from here, I can install this and just let this install, which is done. And if I press escape to come back out. And again, if I go to my games section, here's my C64 emulator. If I press enter. And there we go. 
Okay, and finally, through Cody, we can actually change skins or themes. So if we just go up to the settings at the top, down to interface, and if I just select skin, from here, I can download skins or get more. So I've already downloaded one of these, but I'm going to download another one to show you how it's done. If I go to, say, reload it, and just let this install, And here we go, so we got a brand new skin or theme, however you like to refer to it as. If you don't like the layout of a particular theme, you normally just find settings, and then from settings, go back to interface, skin, and then you can change it to another skin or go back to the default. So check out this one, this one's a pretty cool skin. And here we go. So some of these are really nicely laid out, but some people might find them a little bit confusing since things look a bit different. And that's it for today's Retrobat and Cody setup guide. So if you like Retrobat and Retrobat is the front end of choice, then check out my playlist for Retrobat. I've got a lot of setup guides at this point and they keep getting added to with new updates like this one I've done today. Also check out my other front end setup guides. So I'm doing lots of various setups at the moment, such as Attract Mode and M Galaxy, really random ones like that where there isn't much of those on YouTube. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro